And I, I have an angle to this Kawhi Leonard, Paul George madness that I haven't heard anybody take yet. And, and I want to get your thoughts on this. So th- in the NBA in the last decade, mm-hmm. there's been a rich history of players demanding trades. Okay. okay, Chris Paul, back in the day, demanded out of New Orleans. Remember, he wanted to get to the New York Knicks. That was reported back in the day. Mm-hmm. Chris Paul demanded, I need to get out of New Orleans. Okay, Jimmy Butler was in Minnesota, Catino. Jimmy Butler said, no, nah, I'm done here. I got to get out of Minnesota. He got hammered in the media. Why do you want to leave Carl Anthony Towns? You just got here. You got Wiggins. The media, the fans, they went after Jimmy Butler. Anthony Davis. Anthony Davis said, I need out of New Orleans. He got lambasted by the media and fans. Kyrie Irving was with LeBron James in Cleveland. Kyrie Irving said, I got to get out of here. Trade me. I demand a trade. Catino, all these guys demanding trades, they got hammered in the media, hammered by fans, crushed on social media. Where's that same energy for Paul George, who signed a four-year, $137 million contract, and one year later, he goes to OKC and says, yeah, I'm good, I gotta get out of here. How come nobody's going after Paul George? Let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. This is unbelievable, Catino. Let me tell tell you my theory, because... Uh, and I'm going to start off by saying I love him, right? Russell's my guy, Russell Westbrook. But I think because of the KD, Russell Westbrook, KD, and Russell kind of, you know, quote-unquote, you know, KD can't play with him, which wasn't true, but KD can't play with him. Then you have uh, Victor Oladipo. Then you have, you know, all oh, yeah. these different guys that come oh, with yeah. Russ, and then they want to go. I think the as much as everybody adores Russell that plays and watches basketball because of his energy, I think they're like, well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, that's a good move for Paul. <laughs> All right, that's a fair point, Catino. But like, when, not unlike everybody else, right? Okay, but hold on. Paul George, you could say, I can't play with him. That's fine. You can't get out of the first round. Why did you stay there and sign that four year hundred thirty seven million? You, you said you on Instagram you said you had unfinished business. And then Catino, I looked at Paul George's stats. He just had the best season of his career. Yeah. He was third in MVP voting, career high twenty eight points a game, uh-huh. career high eight rebounds, mm-hmm. career high four assists, career high two point two steals. The guy had a great year. Yeah, he did. And now he's just I gotta get out of here. I'm demanding a trade. So we, what, what do you think that's, that was the team I, I opposed don't, to that's his ability? Well, I don't understand. You don't think he can do that with the Clippers? Uh, that, well, that dog team he's listen, going to? Uh, he's going with a bunch of killers. Right yeah, now. You understand right, me? Right. Well, I'm, I'm ready to Those take down the Those going to go up because yeah. Patrick Beverly's there. Montrezl Harrell's there. Steals there. could go up, yes. You know, them points. Let listen, me ask you this. Uh, Kawhi's not even going to play that much. Kawhi might play. He's going like to yeah, play 50 <laughs> 50 games. A little load management. Yeah, he's going to play 50 games. No, no, no. Hold up, hold up. Time out. Uh, Catino, you know shoulder injuries are important uh, and matter big time Mm -hmm. for shooters. You know, Paul George had surgery on both shoulders here in the last two months. Ain't nobody talking about that. I mean, I don't know how serious they are. I wrote about it. Do you like Paul? Huh? You like Paul? Does it sound like I'm coming after Paul George? I mean, I I don't know, buddy. Listen, I just want when if people are going to rip Anthony Davis when he demanded out of New Orleans, they only ripped him because LeBron James and Rich Paul. If they, they ah, any other thing they would not now ever. Now we're getting to the meat and potatoes of it. So basically, not peel the way to fat. That's what, what I just okay, did. Okay, so Catino, you you spent a long time in the league, man. I was digging into Catino Mobley stats, yeah. man. This guy could get some buckets. Um, playing on some uh, a good Clippers team that got bounced by uh, Steve Nash and the Suns uh, in, we in had seven to, games. That was West Conference. Fight. We should have been to West Conference. That, that was probably the best team you were ever on, right? Uh, no, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Who was bad? I mean, that was a Suns team that was seven seconds or less or what have you. Yeah, we played the Lakers who went to the championship, too. Oh, that's right. Yes, yes. The Houston Rockets. They beat us five games. I mean, it's, it's, sometimes it's like that. You know, you got a really good team. It so, doesn't matter. Okay, so you spent a long time in the league. You averaged double figures for a lot of those years. Uh-huh. I don't recall this kind of hatred, this animosity, this venom being flung at LeBron James and Rich Paul the way it is from fans, media. And I got to say, social media obviously is the worst, but the guys who cover the league almost didn't want Kawhi to go to the Lakers. It was like, yeah, he should stay in Toronto. Or he should go to the Clippers and do his own thing. Mm -hmm. 
I almost feel like, yes, exactly what you said. The reason people blasted Anthony Davis, because he wanted to team up with LeBron. Man. The reason nobody's blasting Paul George, eh, he must have played with Kawhi Leonard. It's fine. Kawhi's cool. Like, that's okay. Mm-hmm. Well, why, why are we doing this as fans? Come on. Because, it's not right. No, it's, 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 it's great narrative. It's, it's what it is, right? You got to build up the hype kind of thing. LeBron James, everybody wants to dethrone or beat him up because he's this massive businessman. He's great dude, great Okay, father. great dude. Ne- been on the cover you know of I mean? Sports Illustrated at 16. He's never amazing. Got no, seriously, trouble. LeBron James. I mean, so it's kind of hate- hard to say bad stuff about that man. It's hard. So why the You hate- come in the league at 18-year-old. Think about that. I don't care who you are. You come to the league at 18-year-old with a $90 million signing bonus from Nike and you know, you ain't never seen your father, and, you, you know, your mom's young. I mean, I know about the mom young stuff. I, my mom was young. She had me. She was 19 going on 20. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? So, I mean, it's just, I, I commend him. Just the, everything he does, everything he's done for, I, off the court, on the court, the whole thing. LeBron James is amazing. He, you know the funny thing? LeBron James top 10 in steal. I mean, top 10 in points, top 10 in assists, <laughs> and ain't come, did not come in the league as a scorer. How you do that? Yeah. Come on, I mean, he's the he's, only he's, person. So do you think then that people are threatened, the older generation? You know, a lot of the guys who write about the NBA, cover the media on TV and radio, mm-hmm. they're kind of in their 40s and 50s. Right. The guys they saw was Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. Right. They don't want LeBron to dethrone, if it's possible, Michael Jordan, so they're kind of protecting him. We've seen this with Charles Barkley, okay? We know he loves to well, protect Well, it's generational. Think about generational, this. Generational, exactly. Right, like everybody was like, it was Will Chamberlain, it was this, it was that, it was Kareem, it was, Will you know. Chamberlain. No, yeah. but think about it. It's, yeah, it's, no, right. you know, at, at their times, right? Like, there's magic, and nobody's greater, and the like, birds, magic, well, we don't know. Hey, Steph, you Curry, know, had, Steph Curry's but, closing in on magic, but no, let's be, be real. Think about this. Even when it was not even racial tension, but just at the point of like black white kind of thing, because that's what the '80s basketball. It kind of like magic was showtime. You know what I'm saying? In yeah. the '80s in LA, and Larry's was uh, blue collar and Hicker, you know, and French Lick, and you know, let's get old boys, yeah, kind of thing. So it's like it was kind of like white black kind of thing, it right? Was, yeah, it's weird. So. Now that's changed. Then you got the, the young guy and Michael Jordan, the air and the tongue out and the chain, the gold chain, and the you understand. So every whoever were doing those times, that's their best person mm. kind of thing. So me grew up Michael. He's magic and everything, but then you grew up Michael because Michael was the eighties and the nineties, and you were like, I want to be like this guy. He has all the cool commercials. I want to be like Mike. Blah 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 blah. It's embedded in me. Me being a professional athlete, playing the same position, now I get into the league, Kobe Bryant, when mm. I'm playing, is the guy. Yeah. Kobe Bryant, he came in at 18 years old. He was raised by L.A. Yeah, he's from Philadelphia, but he was raised by L.A., 18 years old. So all those Latins, all those people from California and all up and down the coast of they grew up Kobe Bryant yeah, for the last twenty w- something yeah. years. It, How do you get say, out of that? And he's it, been giving you excellence. How I, do you get out of that? I don't want to get too off topic, uh, going after Paul George, but uh, I never was a Kobe Bryant guy. I yeah. don't know if I should say that out here in L.A. I was. I grew uh, up on the East Coast, and I had just gotten go. like out of college. Mm-hmm. Uh, I remember watching Rhode Island make yeah, a nice run yeah. in the NCAA tournament. You guys wanted me some money when I started gambling. <laughs> um, and I got out of college, and I was like a young guy living in New York City, trying to be a bachelor playboy, yeah, you know, yeah, running yeah, up debt because yeah. I made with no that, money. With that pretty hair, you got yeah. good. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> I had no money working at a newspaper, and I wasn't t- sports twenty four seven. You know, I was right. like, I want to go out, meet girls, and, and and run around and try to be cool. And I I kind of missed the early Kobe days. I remember the air balls against yeah, Utah, yeah, yeah. and I, everybody just loved him. And I was like, yeah, this guy's kind of a ball hog, you know. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. always a Magic m- over Michael guy because right. I, yeah. I consider myself in pickup basketball a pass first or uh, you know. A, and it's a also team your player. preference, right? Yeah. Like I tell people this all the time. This is what I tell people. I'm like, listen, we we get delusional on a lot of different things, right? So you say, I say, listen, I love to watch this guy. But who would I want to play with mm. is different. Yes. Right? I'm yeah. a basketball player. Me, Katino Moby's a basketball player. If I'm on the floor, yeah, I love watching Kobe. Yeah. <laughs> if I'm on the floor, though, I want Magic. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I want well, LeBron and, and because guess what? They're going to give me the ball. Now, if I want to be a spectator, I want to watch Michael Jordan. I want to watch Kobe Bryant. But if I want to be involved in the game and I want to, I'm not playing the game and I want the team, 
to get touch that ball and everybody working around and everybody eat. I want Magic. Okay. I want Kobe. I mean, I want Magic. I want LeBron. So right? th- that's a great point, Catino, and this goes to the the Paul George criticism that I think he's deserved the same way Anthony Davis took it. Mm-hmm. How come Paul George last year did mm-hmm. not want to play with LeBron James? I want to stay in Oklahoma City. Kawhi Leonard last week had a chance to come play with LeBron, guy who distributes the ball. Kawhi Leonard said, "No, nah, I'd rather play with Paul George." And remember, three years ago. But Kyrie, it's not, Irving. It's not in Kyrie Ka- Irving, I don't want to play with LeBron. Anymore. It's not in it's not in Kawhi, right? And we don't really understand Paul George's demeanor to say, like, I don't want to be that I want to be a superstar, but I don't want to be what the, I don't want that type of I guess pressure. I'm not speaking for Paul George, but I'm saying I don't that's not who I really am, right? Small market Indiana, small market OKC, boom. Lakers, I don't know if he wanted that. Yeah. Right? And and like the LeBron LeBron just got there last year. Yeah. I mean, Paul George was, right? Like, I but mean, Paul George, so LeBron goes there on July 1 to the Lakers. Right. And Paul George has an option. Mm-hmm. We all know LeBron's going to the Lakers. Paul George could have gone to the Lakers last year. Mm-hmm. Could have. And he said, no, nah, I got unfinished business with Russell Westbrook. And a year later, he's demanding a trade. Mm-hmm. Get me away from this guy. It's so toxic. We'll get to Russell Westbrook trades in a minute. Um, but to, back to Paul George. Do you think they can actually be the best team in the league? Paul George, Patrick Beverly, Kawhi Leonard, Lou Williams, Harrell. Can, yes. can this team really be you the best? you see that defense? The first seven, first eight, you can forget about it. Lou Williams' offense is his defense. I like Lou Williams' game. <laughs> his offense is his defense. He's 32 years old. And the rest of them, lockdown down guys. Lockdown. So that for you, Paul George, Kawhi Leonard now have the best team in the NBA. Oh my goodness! Well, definitely. Oh, they, they both listen. Hmm. Paul okay. George, Paul, Paul George, can, he just can play. He can play. I I looked at five thirty eight uh, of this advanced analytics. Uh, they put a b- bunch of numbers into this bowl of soup, and they the machine spits out. It currently says the Clippers are m- maybe on track to be the fifth best team in the NBA. Fifth, the Clippers, according mm. to the advanced numbers. Now, again, you don't know how these players are going to fit. Uh, and, and I want to get to this. Uh, you look at the West, Catino. All the best teams, the the ones that Vegas says are going to win the most games. The Utah Jazz will have two, maybe three new starters. Right? Conley, Bogdanovich, Ed Davis. That's huge. Clippers are going to have two new starters. The, the, nobody's talking about Utah. That's Nobody. Huge. I mean, it's really bad. Mike they, Conley? They're going to be good. I like that team. Whoa. Uh, the Warriors, D'Angelo Russell. Uh, whoever they start at small forward, it could be McKinney. No, Yikes. I'm not, I'm not, uh, Kevon not. Looney may start at center. Pelicans have three new starters. Lakers, um, and, and I guess we can quickly talk about this. They Well, they didn't announce, but Chris Haynes of Yahoo mm-hmm. and FS1 uh, said that LeBron's going to be the point guard for the Lakers next year. Yeah, I mean, he's um, the point guard all the time. Okay, anyway. so you got LeBron, really Danny Green, Anthony Davis, DeMarcus Cousins. Lakers are going to have three new starters. I just feel like this upheaval is so significant. That we're gonna see teams. So would you start Kuz? I was just with Kuz mm. last night. We had to do this celebrity oh, game. Oh, hey, this is a good guy to talk about. Yeah, yeah. So you're hanging out with Kuzma last night. Yeah, we uh we had to do a celebrity game for uh Floyd Mayweather and uh Rob Gronkowski. Was oh, that the game where Mayweather got crossed up? Y- yeah, yeah. And First, he play fell down? First play oh! the game. First play the game. I saw the highlight on IG. It was crazy. I couldn't yeah, believe yeah, it. I had to, I looked at Bone Crush a bone collector like what what are you doing? That's how he That's started Floyd. the game? The very first play. The oh, very first wow. play. For whatever reason, Floyd, who I love, love you, baby, money, uh, he just jumped on like bone bone collector. I'm like, like wait, Like he was no. trying to guard like a regular guy. I, I'm <laughs> mad at our team for not just like rushing. I mean, um, I'm mad at their team for not rushing at Floyd. Like, listen, I love you, champ. Get out the way. Let me get this. It's can, crazy. Wait, can Floyd Mayweather play pickup or no? He can play. He can play. He can't play defense. No, you can play. I mean, <laughs> bone collector. He does that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he does that. Uh, so, anyway, so Kyle Kuzma. What did you talk to him at all about the Lakers? What's the vibe surrounding? No, I just, he's I was like the last guy standing. Him. Yeah, I was kind of talking to uh, to Kuzma basically about his positions and kill spots and just different things like that. You know, and don't fall in love with the three. Mix it up because there's a lot of different ways to to score. And uh, you you you're actually with veterans who can play. The game, right, and play. Uh, and if you're moving without the ball, on top of what your skill set is already, you know, you can you can cause a lot of problems. 
And, and that's one of the big things. You know, he only shot thirty percent on threes last year. Yeah, but, but that was it. he was taking some bad shots. Exactly, He's playing with Lonzo, yeah, yeah. Uh, young I mean, point as soon as guard. He touches the ball. He just flinging it up. Yeah, more more comfortability now because he, it ain't like he didn't get shots. He got shots last year. Yeah, he just has to be more efficient. Yeah, um, you know, after the All Star break, he was bad, but that was when the team was talking about trading for Anthony Davis. Remember, they went through that, and he shot twenty five percent from three after the All Star break. So yeah, we'll definitely dig into a little more. Uh, Kyle Kuzma hanging out with Katino Mobley last night. Um, I, I got to figure out what's going on with that rotation with the Lakers. They got no wings, Katino. It's dangerous. It's basically Kuzma, Jared Dudley, and LeBron. You look at the Clippers. No, Mo Harkless. You got Caldwell Pope. What's his name? Yeah, he, is, can he can he guard can he guard Kawhi? Can he guard Paul George? I think he'll like have six, a be, I he, think he'll have a better year this year. He's working on his jump shot. You know, not the I mean? ankle bracelets off. You know, yeah. he doesn't have to worry I about think, yeah, I think jail. He, I think he'd be okay. 